In this video, we discuss the answer to the question, what are the major and minor premises in a categorical syllogism? First, let's review some important concepts. Recall that a categorical syllogism is an argument consisting of three categorical propositions. Here are some examples. Peruse these before moving on. The syllogism's conclusion is how you identify the major and minor terms. The minor term is the subject of the conclusion. The major term is the predicate of the conclusion. So in this argument we have some animals are mammals, all cows are mammals, so some animals are cows. Animals is the minor term. It is the subject of the conclusion. Cows is the major term. It is the predicate of the conclusion. Now that we know what the major and the minor terms are and how to identify them, Let's talk about the major and the minor premises. The major premise contains the major term. The minor premise contains the minor term. These are respectively symbolized with a capital P and a capital S. The order of the argument when we have the major premise first and the minor premise second and then the conclusion is called standard form. The syllogism must be in standard form in order to be evaluated by the rules of the syllogism. Standard form involves the major premise appearing first in the order, the minor premise second, and then the conclusion. So when we take an argument such as the following, all cows are mammals, all mammals are animals, and all cows are animals, before we evaluate it using the rules of the syllogism, we put the argument in standard form. To do this, we determine what the subject of the conclusion is, or the subject term of the conclusion is, or the uh, subject category of the conclusion, as well as the predicate term of the conclusion, the predicate category of the conclusion, or the grammatical predicate of the conclusion. So that the standard form for the argument we just saw is all mammals are animals, all cows are mammals, and so all cows are animals. The S and the P stand for respectively the minor and the major terms, and the M stands for the middle term. 